Hello everybody, I'm Kevin, Kevin Killian, and I have with me today the curators of the new show at the Berkeley Art Museum, Hauntology. Over here is Scott Ewicker. He's an artist <laughs> and a musician, and over here is Lawrence Rinder. Hello. He's a curator and the director of the Berkeley Museum. You two fellows <laughs> got together, <laughs> put your heads together, and came up with a compelling idea, Hauntology. Now it's a concept, I'm sure we all know basically what it is, mm. but maybe you could refresh the memories of our viewers. Mm. What is hauntology? Who invented this word? All right, well I first heard about hauntology and the term from Scott, and not that long ago, it was less than a year ago, I think it was probably in January of 2008, yeah. or nine, 2009, and it was actually at a small uh, at a not small press, uh, Poets Theater event at CCA where you were performing, I believe. The play was The Corpse. The Corpse by, yeah, the corpse by Russell right. Atkins. Uh, Russell right. Atkins is a kind of a lost, sort of lost genius playwright. Yeah. Uh, very little known. And he, he lives in uh, Ohio all by himself. He's 90 years old. Right. He's like the grand old man of black poetry. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a play in the early 50s, The Corpse. Right. Scott Moira, you have focused on contemporary art but with a fair number of artists from the past, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it about contemporary art that attracts the nightmare of the revenant? I, uh, and I wonder also that I see so many of your artists are local figures. Mm -hmm. They're from the Bay Area. And what is it about the Bay Area that attracts mm -hmm. the haunted and the spooky? And do we as artists living here have a, I don't know, a direct vein into you know, the Hellmouth? I don't know if I can really, you know, speak for all, all of, you know, contemporary artists and everything, but, um, I mean, San Francisco definitely has this kind of, you know, it sort of evokes sort of the past more than the future to me. And here we have a very strange picture by Bernard Maybach, who I think of as the guy who brought arts and crafts movement to Berkeley. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the what the provenance of this the, the piece is. I believe it uh, has to do with Circe, you know, from uh, the Odyssey. Yeah. And he, you know, his sort of uh, conglomeration of all these different styles, sort of romantic and gothic, and uh, the, you know, early 20th century arts and crafts was kind of evoked this sort of uh, timelessness, a pastime, but like not one that you could quite uh, locate. And it seemed to be sort of in this kind of netherworld. Let's look at. Jess's picture of the Winchester, uh, Sarah Winchester. So yes, uh, this is a work of Jess's in our collection and it's really a wonderful piece, uh, a portrait of Sarah Winchester who was the heir to the Winchester repeating rifle fortune and built the so-called Winchester Mystery House in San Jose. Um, and her motivation for building that house was her fear of the ghosts of the Native Americans who had been killed by Winchester rifles who were coming back to haunt her, and uh, she was told by a medium, I believe, that if she continued to build this house in this sort of cockamamie way where the stairs led nowhere, that the ghosts wouldn't be able to find her. I did notice that there were some, as I walk around these walls, some of these pictures seem to fall into these groups, and uh, here's one of them. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about this, this part of the wall. Well, you can see they're all figures, and the historical range of this work is rather extreme, uh, going from the Antonia da Trento uh, 16th century uh, all the way up to the Travis Collinson drawing that was done a few months ago. Um, they're all works on paper, uh, drawings, etchings. Um, the da Trento is a chiaroscuro. There's a watercolor by Dirk Bell. And uh, they all involve figures in some kind of state of introspection or um, distraction or coalescence, I guess I would say. Uh, there's another interesting quality here that many of the figures appear to be somehow uh, integrating with or disappearing into their environment. Uh, they, they are uh, um, dispersing somehow. So there's a, a thin veil between the, the self and the, the world that, that is around them. And I, I thought they, they kind of evoked this sort of uh, kind of possessive, possessed sort of state, almost kind of drug or not, you know, or, uh, you it's know. the agony and the ecstasy. Yeah, exactly. And in, in, in very interesting ways, you know, I think there, some, people, some of them are being terrorized and some of them are sort of, uh, you know, ecstatic and, uh, you know, we have narcissists and then we have the quiz, uh, sleep of reason. Um, 
and then uh, Alfred Hardalika, who uh, is what, Czechoslovakian? Uh, Austrian. Austrian. You know, this very kind of ghostly, ghostly sort of grouping of, of figures that, you know, uh, that you're not sure quite if they're, you know, sort of human or not. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Karen. Always a pleasure to chat with you. Hauntology, curated by Scott Ewicker and Larry Rinder, runs at the Berkeley Art Museum through December 5th.